and we are in the middle of nowhere. Hello everyone, my name is Rayson and welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to a very interesting place as we are going for fishing in the middle of the deep sea. I don't know how this trip will go. It is at the moment, the time is 5.42 as you guys can see. And I'm still waiting for Salvador. You guys know that he is always late. So I will start loading my things and get ready for Salvador. Okay guys, Salvador has finally arrived. And as you guys can see, yet another early morning trip. <laughs> <laughs> so guys this is our first stop and salvador is gone to bring some bread so that we can have some light snacks when we are on the boat here he comes fresh bread <laughs> fresh gone pound so guys we are finally here to board the boat and as you guys can see, we have parked our car here and we are waiting for the uncle who will get all the fishing lines, fishing bait, the hooks and all that stuff. And we are also waiting for the boat guy to arrive. Once both of them are here, we will board the boat and get on our way. So guys, finally our boat is here and we'll now start to board the boat. So guys, till here everything was cool and smooth and we were excited to board the boat but we didn't know what was yet to come so keep watching to see what happened while we were on the boat and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then subscribe now and Petra is making sure the food bag comes on board Petra hurry up What's she guys finally we are on the boat <laughs> So guys still here everybody was relaxed and having a good time until what happened next. So guys here the river touches the sea, the ocean. Right now we are in the river water and very soon we will be joining the sea water. Now where this water joins most of the time it is a very rough sea so I am hoping that there will be not much movement. So guys this is the joining point as you guys can see on this side it is the river and on the other side it is the ocean and we are crossing it right now. Already the sea has become little bit choppy and looks like there will be a slight rough weather here. Now if you see on the left side there is a holy place there so before crossing you can pray if you want and this beach is Mobor beach. So guys this is the last point from where the journey was smooth and this is what happened next. <laughs> Guys, finally we are in our final destination final, spot. Final, <laughs> final resting place. <laughs> and I got seasick. 
and we are in the middle of nowhere just have a look around guys we are really in the middle of nowhere and in the middle of the sea so if anything happens here it is going to be tough so this prawns we will be using as a bait to catch the fish so let's see if we manage to catch something so guys i think the uncle caught a fish and yes we got the first fish and it is a conkor <laughs> so guys finally we managed to catch one fish <laughs> okay guys i am back in action now so we are now going to a different spot because here we managed to catch only one fish So guys enjoy the early morning view from here it was truly amazing so here we are in our next spot and salve is dropping his line now there you go okay guys this is my fishing line and this is my bait we can look side now Okay, uh, it's time to rest. So the major task while fishing is the patience. You have to keep your patience till you catch something. Now Petula here has abused the word patience, and she is sleeping here. <laughs> so guys, now here everybody is seasick, as you guys can see. Petula could not handle it, so she went to sleep. So it's not an easy job, guys. It's a tough job to do fishing in the sea, and we have experienced it now. And I'm feeling seasick as well as sleepy as well. Ah. So guys. Looks like we caught something here. Let's check it out. So we almost caught another one, but the fish ran away. Okay, okay, we got one more here. Guys, on the way we spotted some dolphins, and I luckily managed to capture them on the video. Here you can see. I will give you a slightly slower motion and a magnified view of the dolphins. Finally, we found a mermaid in the sea. 
Let's see. This is the mermaid Helen Cot. <laughs> okay guys, we are done for the day. We are all exhausted, but we managed to catch some fish. As you guys can see, four of them are here, two of them are in another place. But Petula was not ready to give up and ended up catching herself. So come on, let's go back. So guys we had to turn the boat around to go back because of the rough weather so we stayed there for around 2 hours and because of the rough weather it seems like everybody is happy to go back home so we are now entering back in the river water and if you see on the hilltop from here you can see a lighthouse there it is exactly where the barade cross is located in betul which is to show the boats that this is the entry point so now we are back in the river water so guys it's nice to see the land so close to the boat it really feels relaxing Nice to be back guys it's don't be rigid always work towards a prime surround yourself with open minds people can change your life a few friends with intent can help you feel alive find a passion take some action and with a little time just be patient make a statement <laughs> i'm the most happiest guy here ah to be back on the land thank you baba bye bye silently scared that you figure it Okay guys there goes our boat and finally we are on the land and I'll show you the fish that we have caught today and when they find this is the catch of the day So guys hoping that you enjoyed the video if you like the video then see that you like and share with your friends and family and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel then see that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will not miss any of my future videos till then This is Rajesh Banani signing out until we meet again And when they finally think you won't get Then it's your chance to be ruthless Okay Salve so what is your review on the trip I think the trip was good but uh, you know a little bit more fish would have been good definitely yeah um but I think because of the rough weather we had to turn back early but otherwise it was a good memorable trip so what are the mistakes you think we did before going on board um I think we all of us had a mega breakfast I think uh, one of our cousins she did advise us not to sort of you know go heavy on the breakfast but That's true. Uh, but uh, me I had uh, like pav bhaji uh, buns Uh, chai, double chai, and, and I, I ate uh, brown bread with omelet and milk. It was just too much, guys. Just avoid eating anything before going on board, especially breakfast. Yeah. And even during night, what do you think we should have the dinner? I I think it should be something light, very light. Yeah. So light dinner and no breakfast at all. You can take a small cup of coffee. before going on board the other thing is that um, i think if you are if you're going to be seasick or you know you have a problem with being seasick or motion sickness then it's better to take a, a tablet at night after dinner is that right after yeah. dinner right and even if you are not a seasick person still i think it's better you take that tablet <laughs> because some of us took the tablet but still they got seasick especially petula So what are the mistakes you think we did on board when we were on the boat itself I think we took too much uh, food on board um, well I I got some pao goan pao and uh, chutneys uh, petra got some uh, samosas uh, and you had some uh, patties as well like, yes yeah it's it was like we were going to have a party on the boat but we were wrong guys we could not even take a small bite of what Why? we took actually We had yeah, to man. bring it all back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring it all back. I think the best uh, thing to do is when you're going, uh, take some citrus fruits like you know oranges or you know something light. If you're hungry, apple you is it, also yeah. a good option. Good option, yeah. 
so one more last question i have for you is that what are the safety measures that we should take when we are on board okay i think when you're on the boat uh, you sh- avoid standing up because uh, you know it rolls so you could fall into the sea um so it happened to that. us actually yeah. uh, one of our members almost uh, he was out of balance and he could have fallen but luckily nothing happened by god's grace so the other thing also is you'll be handling a lot of sharp objects there like hooks and stuff like that so you need to be careful with that because if there's any medical ag- emergency you'll be a little bit further away from the shore so yeah you have to be keep that in mind also you know wear protective clothing uh, because it's a um, very harsh um, sun out there Uh, it has a shade but uh, not all yeah. of us sit in the shade but if you go on, if you want to go on the edges of the boat then you will be exposed to the sun yeah um wear some protective clothing you know your sunglasses um sunscreen so and if the sea is choppy um i think um, make sure you're wearing your life jackets and uh, keep them on uh, it's safer for everyone so as you guys can see that we are smoking the catch of the day and we are doing it for a very special person who could not make it on the trip and he is mr silroy fernandes so let's welcome him at least in the video itya ya masoi hatai ga masoi